Hi guys, this is Asha and this is my review of the MIUI V4 ROM for the Galaxy Note GTN 7000. So this this ROM is based on MIUI that is a kind of a different interface from the general TouchWiz or any kind of uh, Android interfaces that we are used to. So this is quite popular and this has been ported over to the Galaxy Note right now. So uh, as you can see right from the lock screen everything seems a little different. Okay. <clears throat> So the first thing, the most glaring, uh, glaring reference you get for anybody coming from, uh, no matter whether it's AOSP builds or TouchWiz based builds of uh, Android, is the is the lack of an app drawer. So to simplify things, this the interface is more similar to the iPhone, as in, uh, you know, you don't have an app drawer, but you just have all your apps on the home screen, and that's all you have. You do not have an have a, have a separate app drawer to go into. Okay. So that's the first thing that'll be different. Apart from that, you know, your you've got your notifications, uh, the notification shortcuts. Um, you've got your settings key over here. You've got a lot of common settings, and you've got your complete settings. So that's there. All right, guys. So. A lot of things are done differently in this. So, for for example, the music player is different. Uh, okay, let me before I go into this. Okay, one thing with this uh, ROM is that you've got an inbuilt security feature, that is, uh, under security and privacy, you can go into privacy protection, and uh, enable access control, which means that you know, right now that I've, I do not have a lock to get into the phone, but once I open up, say I try to call or try to message or whatever app that I open up right now, it will ask me for a pattern that I've set up earlier on. You can control which apps do require a pattern and which do not, so that uh, it's kind of useful for, for people who are, you know, who expect a lot of privacy. So let me quickly disable the uh, security key code right now. A lot of apps are totally different, guys. For example, the music player is pretty different from the standard ones that you see with uh, ROMs. So, uh, you know, going into playlists, um, and I'm, just, I'm just going to recently add it, and... Just gonna stand there and watch. So, uh, that's the music player. And another thing here is... Uh, the music player also plays on uh, the lock screen. So, that's one thing. You can also skip tracks right here. So that's a pretty decent feature. So let me quickly go back in. Similarly, the gallery is also pretty different. Looks a lot smoother. Show photos. Pretty decent here. Uh, okay, you also have an inbuilt backup application wherein uh, you go into backup. You do not have to use Titanium backup over here. You can just go into backup and create a local backup of anything you want. Tap and backup and backing up the system will get you a backup of everything including messages and call logs uh, and uh, you can also go ahead and back up Dropbox and any applications that you want and so on so that's for backup and under tools you also have a default sound recorder a calculator, clock, torch uh, as far as firewall is concerned that blocks any I mean you can add a whitelist or a blacklist uh, based filter so that you can either let a few people, let, let just select people call you or message you or vice versa. So that's another decent feature over here. P permission manager is what gives you, you know, you can set manage root permissions from here. So again, another one. The messages app is also pretty different. You also have a favorites over here where you can just select any phrases you want. I mean, it's there for most ROMs, but it's just, you know, Mm, I mean, it just looks a little different, so that's pretty decent. As far as call logs go, uh, I'm not gonna go into it right now, you know, for for privacy uh, privacy concerns, obviously. Uh, but you also get to uh, near the call logs, you also get get to see how many rings that a certain person called before they cut it. I mean, cut the call in case you missed it, and you can also see how long the call was all from your call log list, and uh, that's pretty uh, useful. And uh, you've got a hell lot of themes here, guys. Uh, I don't have Wi-Fi on, let me quickly turn it on. When you go online, there are a lot and there are lots and lots of themes here for you to check out. So 
and applying a theme is pretty easy all you need to do is just tap on it and tap apply okay so here we go back just tap ok Lock the so phone. here you go guys we've got the new theme applied so this is the motor blur theme so it's a little different from the other one so the lock screen changes and everything changes pretty much uh, but the camera as far as the camera goes it's the standard android camera 8 megapixel shots no issues uh, 1080p videos no issues again so that's nothing different over there all ice cream sandwich features do work as well uh, say for example you can just swipe uh, notifications over here to close them long press the home button and it's a little the uh, what do you say the GUI is a little different but it still works the same way just swipe on stuff to close them off and you can also see how much uh, memory you free up when you go ahead and swipe them uh, the browser again has a few a few differences it's just uh, pretty easy to use you've got a lot of uh, you know shortcuts and, and stuff and so on and you can just run rush into history this way your bookmarks are saved over here and you can just tap and hold the bookmark and you can select whether you want to open it in a new tab or new background tab or if you want to add a shortcut to home so this way now I have a shortcut on my home screen for the bookmark ESPN so anyway guys uh, going to the next one on tools uh, would be monitor this is just a, this is just your standard uh, monitor that shows your you know 2g 3g data that you've actually used so you can go ahead and turn it off if you want to set a start date and so on this is a standard addition to android 4.0 so it's nothing very different um, moving on moving into settings here uh, you can also make sure you can also make I mean uh, edit edit how I mean tweak how the power button works or the back button works and so on. That's another one. Apart from that, it's pretty much uh, Android 4.0. Uh, so guys, before we before I mean uh, one more thing, the Play Store works perfectly, no issues whatsoever. Uh, so guys, what I'll do is I'll quickly run a quick Quadrant standard test over here, a benchmark. So guys, let's quickly run a full benchmark over here uh, and we'll see what kind of scores we hit with this ROM. So guys, while, while the benchmark is running over here, let me just tell you that this is a very, very stable ROM. There are a few issues and let me go into it right now. Uh, there are some sleep issues at times. The phone might, uh, you leave the phone and I mean, you leave the phone in sleep for, for quite a bit and the phone fails to turn on. It's happened to me about four or five times in the week, but that's minimal it doesn't happen a lot so the ROM is definitely usable uh, there's no HDMI output MHL doesn't work uh, as far as uh, on-the-go USB works that doesn't work either uh, I mean as far as on-the-go on -the USB goes it doesn't work as well uh, that is you cannot plug in a USB adapter and use uh, a mouse and, mouse and keyboard or you know an, a, a pen drive or whatever uh, there is no native Wi-Fi tethering and uh, the speaker for speakerphone doesn't work pretty good so uh, it's a little broken as far as themes go they it's a hit and a mess it's more it has more more to do with MIUI than the ROM in particular so don't worry about it for the for the moment so let's see the device hits around 3754 which is pretty good for the Galaxy Note so that's decent as well apart from this guys Bluetooth works Wi-Fi works no issues uh, AVR CP audio video remote control profiles where you can uh, you can rewind or fast forward using a Bluetooth also works without any issues so don't worry about any of those and guys as far as battery life goes it's pretty decent uh, I've been getting amazing battery life for this ROM I get uh, around 20 to 30 hours for every charge but I just I haven't been using this phone a lot in the last few days so the phone had actually run out of battery and I just charged it so I don't I can't really show you the battery stats right now because you know I've been charging it and uh, it's just been on battery for a bit now so I can't really show you the battery stats but 
Let me assure you the battery life is pretty decent on this one. So that's pretty much it guys when it comes to the review of the MIUI V4 uh, ROM for the Galaxy Note GT N7000. Uh, this is what you would, uh, I mean I would suggest this ROM to anybody who's looking to freshen things up for the phone. If you're tired of same old Android interface and you want to try something new, this is uh, very stable, very snappy and it's got, uh, what do you say, uh, a lot of features, a lot of themes, a lot of uh, uh, things that you can tweak so uh, I would definitely suggest it to people uh, I've been uh, if you guys have been following me or subscribed to me you would know that I've been flashing a lot of ROMs uh, I usually flash a lot of ROMs and I don't stay on the same ROM for more than a few days you know till I do a review or whatever uh, but with this ROM I've been staying with it for a week uh, yes I did get the Galaxy S3 and I have been using it I don't say no but uh, this ROM is I mean, kind of intrigued me, it's uh, pretty different uh, and I would definitely uh, suggest you guys if not to use it uh, at least to give it a try because uh, it might surprise you. So uh, anyway guys, uh, before you go, you know you know what to do, hit the like, button, like and subscribe buttons uh, if you're not subscribed already that is. Uh, and uh, if you guys want to do me a favor. Hit my links to Amazon in the description and purchase. I mean, if you want to order anything of Amazon, doesn't necessarily have to be Galaxy Note related stuff. Just hey, use my links to go to Amazon and uh, if you order anything off Amazon, I get to make a, a few bucks. So uh, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can email me directly. All my contact details are in the description. So, uh, like I said, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Thanks a lot for watching. I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy Note N7000, the Galaxy S3 and the HTC One X. So, once again, thanks a lot for watching guys. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.